Hello everyone! Today's video is going to include something that Penny is probably not going to enjoy, while also including something that Alex is going to like. And these stupid children are probably going to be long gone by the time Alex moves in. Also, it looks like Penny may have already figured it out and abandoned this life. She left the kids behind and is nowhere to be found. Anyways, the gifts for Alex are actually fairly hard to come by, so I'm going to be lazy and just give him prismatic shards, which pretty much everyone in town loves. So, let's go find out if his dense brain can form a clever thought or not. Hmm, I smell a barbecue. That could be my kids from a former marriage. Damn, I could go for a burger. Well, I don't have one of those, but here's a valuable prismatic shard. Hey, awesome, I love this stuff. I would too, it's pretty much the most valuable thing in the game. Today, it would seem that my simple wife has had a change of heart and decided to actually be here. Not that she's looking after the kids or anything. We have to make sure and give David Jr. a lot of attention now that we have other BB. We don't want any jealousy between them. I don't think they have much attention to be competitive over. They'll both die lonely, lonely children. Well, have a nice day, whatever you do. Well, here's some attention for little whatever this one's called. A few amusing statues to keep him entertained. Today, Alex is in his house because it's raining and he can't quite comprehend that. I got these new shoes yesterday because my old pair had a brown smudge. I just threw them into the garbage. I would have donated them, but I don't like the idea of some weirdo wearing my shoes, you know? Yeah, Alex, I do know. I tend to get rid of everything I don't want. Throwing out a pair of shoes would not be the worst thing I've ever done. Here's your present. I wonder if George likes rocks. That's a terrible gift. Yeah, but you could use it as a wheel chalk. I think my wife Penny wants a rock. It reminds me of her bland personality. Uh, it's for me? Thanks. One thing I really actually do like about Alex is the fact that he gets out of his house before 9 o'clock, unlike the rest of these lazy idiots. Hey farmer guy, you look a little burnt. Hey football guy, you seem a little slow. The more I practice this summer, the easier it'll be for me to go pro. Is he just realizing now that practice makes you better at stuff? Today is the 13th of summer, which means it's Alex's birthday, so he gets a nice present and my wife gets a bomb. Uh, it's for me? Thanks. I like how she never appreciates any of the gifts I give her. It should be the thought that counts. Hmm, maybe I should experiment with a new recipe. You liked the last recipe I made, didn't you, honey? I'd rather eat the bomb. And it's raining today, so Dum Dum probably won't leave his house. I see Pam's on her way to the next DUI. Any special thoughts on your birthday? Hmm, this is not good weather for sports. Yeah, you better be grateful. That would put him up to three hearts already. Someone doesn't want to get out of bed today, despite not ever doing anything anyway. Good morning, stupid. And what are you still doing in my kitchen? It's summer, that means the house is full of flies. Not if we actually kept it clean, it wouldn't. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. How very thoughtful of you. By the way, the purple kid seems to have gotten loose. And one more time, hello Alex. Hey, nice tan. Don't see how that's possible, I pretty much sleep my life away. Here's a prismatic shard. And it's time for the two heart event. Alex is on the beach playing football. Clearly he doesn't understand that football traditionally is played on a grass field. Oh, hi. Um, it's Mumps, right? Call me whatever you want. I'm just enjoying this great weather, Mumps. He probably likes my name because it's actually pretty easy to say. One syllable. Hey, go long. Heh, nice try. Shut up, Alex. I'm going to be the first professional gridball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. So he led the Stardew Valley team that probably consisted simply of him? Yeah, you're really arrogant. Sorry to crush your dreams. Hmm, I think someone's a little jealous. Yes, clearly I'm very jealous. I'm out of here. And while we're at it, here's the Four Heart event and the first appearance of the dog. That's a good boy, Dusty. Where can I get one of those dog pens for my kids? That would be perfect. They got a box and a food dish and everything. You might be the only one around here who understands me. Frankly, he's probably a little bit smarter than you are. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. And there's me just lurking behind the saloon like I typically do. Mumps, did you overhear me talking? Yes, I heard everything. You chatting away with the dog. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. You don't really have to, I don't really want to listen. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? I didn't even know they were your grandparents. You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. 
He's probably not going to be a big fan of my family skills. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that it never amount to anything. Yeah, compared to me, he is father of the year. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Yeah, how's that gridball career coming along? Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind? Maybe you were running around the house getting in the way. One day he left, and soon after that, mom got sick and passed away. I have no choice but to move in with my grandparents. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, mumps. I don't want any sympathy. Yeah, you're not going to get any sympathy out of me. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. Well, whatever helps you sleep at night, champ. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. He eats pretty well for a dog that lives in a tiny box. Look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. Well, you two probably actually have a lot in common. I feel like that whole cutscene pretty much sums up Alex. Hiya, wife! A nice house, two wonderful kids, and a beautiful plot of land. We're so very fortunate. Before you know it, we're gonna lose two of those things, and it's not gonna be the nice house and the beautiful plot of land. You're leaving dog food all over the place. Oh wow, your shoes are a little dirty, but that's fine, too. Alex, I feel like you're worrying about all the wrong things in life. Different people have different tastes, I guess. I think my wife has gone crazy. She is staring at a pillar in the corner. Hi wife, can I build a cage for the children? I'm just going to head into town today, just for fun. I'll be back in a while. Yeah, me too. There's grass in the field that the kids get hungry. Hiya, dummy. Hey, nice tan. And the six heart event. Oh, hi, mumps. Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Well, that's a surprise. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. But you can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Well, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. That gets you the most friendship points, by the way. Yeah, I guess you're right. You just happen to have more weaknesses than others. Well, I'm not going to give up. If I work hard, I can do anything. Except to read a book, apparently. Hey, maybe one day soon we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? I have yet to meet a philosopher, but yeah, whatever. And that was actually the five heart event. Hey, champ. My grandma told me I should spend more time studying. Yeah, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Maybe she's right. Or maybe she's wrong. Here's a gift. And Grandma gets a mushroom for her words of wisdom. It smells awful. So do you. Have a nice day. Oh no. I think this one, yup. It blew up. And the six heart event. I can almost feel the sexual tension already. Oh hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Well, I've never seen you do it before. Sorry, I have no shirt on. Go on. Um, Mumps, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Use your words, buddy. Here we go. I've started to realize that, well, that I've been really rude towards you in the past, you know, about going pro and all that. Not really, you mostly just came off as immensely stupid. I guess I might not actually be cut out for professional sports. Maybe it was just a childish dream, you know? Well, that's your childish brain at work. And apparently that got him all fired up, because away he goes lifting weights. Today, he's made it as far as the tree, because any further and he gets lost. Alright, so after today's gift, Alex is up to 8 hearts, which means I can load him up with flowers to get him to 10 hearts. Okay, so just a few more heart scenes to go, and then we'll see if he understands the concept of marriage. So, check in the mail today. Alex says, meet me at the saloon tonight after dark. I'm actually pretty impressed that he knows how to write and send a letter. Now, I'm assuming he simply said after dark because he doesn't actually know how to tell time. Well, we have a private room in Stardew Valley's finest establishment. And apparently the bartender is also quite the musician. Okay, someone's gotta say something, the tension's killing me. Thanks Gus, that was great. And fairly awkward. This is nice, I've never dined in here before. Nobody has, it's someone's bedroom. Um, anyway, I reserved this private room so we could talk. Oh, hi Emily, nice to see you again. This is my new love, Alex. I've got a linguine with mushroom cream sauce for Mr. Mumps and a grilled steak for Alex. So do I just like not get a choice in what I'm eating? So what I wanted to say was, well, when we first met, I was instantly drawn to you. It was confusing. I never felt that way about anyone. I kept telling myself you can't have these kinds of feelings for another guy. Yeah, I get that a lot. But my heart was telling me something else. Aw, I feel the same way. At least for now. These things never really last long with me. I can't believe it took this long to say that to each other. Yeah, that was a 
crazy two weeks. Mmm, this steak is outstanding. Can you smell that fragrant sauce? No. And a dog busts through the window. Well, that was a fancy dinner. Today we're going to answer another question. We're going to see if you can get engaged on the same day you file for a divorce. Hi Mayor Lewis, just in for the usual today. So let's see if we can get the pendant on the same day. Glad the amulet worked out for you lad. Yeah, about that, I just filed for a divorce. So looks like we can't get the pendant. Anyways, I'd get Penny's last thoughts, but she's not here and I'm not going to track her down, so bye Penny. I see my statues don't accept the laws of physics, so that's pretty cool. The best part of my little divorce experiment is that you can't get the pendant during winter and I use the last rainy day in fall in my little experiment, so I have to wait all the way till spring to get another one. Here we go, a short month and a half later, it's finally a rainy day again, so off to see the stranger on the beach. One more pendant please, 5,000 gold. Hi Penny, I bought your flowers to make you feel better. Please leave me alone. I will not. Well, she's as boring in divorce as she was in marriage. So let's go talk to the male equivalent of Haley. Hmm, this is not good weather for sports. Tell me about it. Let's get married. I accept. Three days, blah blah blah. And let's buy one more pendant. Because another marriage is never very far away with me. I hope Alex likes kids, because I certainly don't. The wedding's always the same now. You'd think they'd have an express wedding for me at this point. So it looks like Alex has a very complicated personal space, which matches his complicated mind. I'm going to go ahead and put this pendant right here on the table to remind him of his impending divorce. Here we have his inside room, simply a weight bench, a football, and some posters of shirtless men on the wall. Not a single book anywhere to be found. He has a very minimal, simple existence. It seems he was stuck behind one of my statues. It probably outsmarted him. Hi Alex, nothing to say today? And our first conversation is a married couple. I wonder if a powder of star drop would help me bulk up. Nope, but steroids definitely would. We should give some to the children, see what happens. Good morning, dummy. Ah, there's nothing like a good night's sleep next to my husband. Uh, unless you're considering a good night's sleep next to my next husband. Now that winter's over, we've got a lot of productive weather to look forward to. He hasn't once yet acknowledged the children. He might still be trying to assert his mental superiority over them. Did you know that my grandpa loves Leek? It's his favorite. No, but I bet he loves hills. Anyways, that's Alex. That's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think. Give me some ideas for new ones. Thanks for watching. Bye. Also, the subscribe button is broken, so if you hit it, it won't do anything.